Uh, it's got to get done sometime, huh? And this is my little window of time that I have today. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix some drippers. If I have time, I'm going to go ahead and plant um, some sunflowers um, as well as maybe some squash. We are two-ish weeks away from my frost date, like two and a half weeks away from my frost date. And um, so it is a little bit early. But if I could get that extra two and a half weeks of growth, that would be awesome. And so I think we're gonna risk it. The 10 day forecast looks really good. So um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So we're gonna go ahead and fix some of these drippers so I can continue to water my garlic. And um, I'm also going to try to plant some of those things today if I have time and if I'm not too wiped out after this. <laughs> so this is a plug that I put in, um, cause I put a dripper on this side, but the dripper has since um, fallen out. Or I say fallen out, it's broken off and it's left this little piece uh, in there. So what I'm going to do to repair this is I'm actually gonna just put a new um, dripper in there. I'm just pushing that um, little piece that was stuck in there in because I can shoot this out the end of this hose um, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to replace this dripper with a soaker. So this is um, going to let out a lot more water than these are. I actually like these more than these um, especially for garlic and things that are um, high intensity grown um, and actually even even my tomatoes and my peppers and um, my squash plants, I prefer these nozzles over these. Um, that's just something I've learned. But um, as you can see, this has dug this hole and has um, pretty much screwed over this, <laughs> this garlic, because the rest of these garlic are, you know, more than four times its size. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and snap that back in there and that is all there is to um, replacing it. Now that we got that fixed, I'm gonna go ahead and go turn this on. I'm gonna check the other hoses because I know there's another break somewhere, but I've got to find where it is. I can't remember where it's at. So I do, I have another break just right next to, right down from the one that I just fixed. Um, but. All right, and that's all there is to it. You just snap it right in there. Do you guys see? You see this little plant? That looks like a green bean. I grew green beans right here last year, so I would not be surprised if that is one. Oh look, here's another one. This looks like sunflower or some sort of squash. Oh my gosh, there's lots of them. Look, there's another one right there. I think these are sunflowers. I never get volunteers. That's so cool. I'm gonna probably just let those grow. Kind of close. I don't know if it'll pull it out, but we'll try our best. Looks like a a green bean to me, but this even this one next to it, this looks like a sunflower to me. I especially wanted to interplant the squash with the sunflowers because it just seemed like the squash were the most susceptible to like things like squash bugs, and. Um, the wasps really, I felt like, really kept that population low, um, as well as coming out and hand picking them off, as well as um, all the tricks, you know. Um, note to the wise, take a picture of your garden plan, keep it in your phone, keep multiple copies, um, because I didn't, and yeah. <laughs> I wanna say that I had the squash actually originally like in the middle of the garden, um, but I don't remember, dang it. Ugh, and I've looked everywhere for that garden plant and I can't find it now. All right, this is all super overgrown. This is exactly why I put down that, um, that cloth down on that other section of the garden because I really didn't want to deal with all of the weeds. So I decided to plant these moonshine sunflowers right here. I've never grown these before, but I thought they looked so beautiful. So I went ahead and picked this one.
Okay, so I just finished planting two rows. I planted what I think is zucchini. Um, they were poured out in a bag that was also with um, some yellow squash, so I'm hoping they were zucchini. They looked like they were zucchini because the bag that was open was the zucchini, so I'm assuming it was the zucchini. Um, assumptions. Um, I'm gonna be very sad if, <laughs> if they end up being something else. Ended up also planting um, a sunflower called Red Sun um, on this row with these zucchini. So I'll have um, every other plant will be sunflowers and then zucchini, sunflowers, zucchini, and then the same with this other row. Yellow squash, sunflowers, yellow squash, sunflowers. I'm hoping that that's gonna bring down the pest load on all of the squash. <laughs> hey you guys, so we are just doing a candling um, of these eggs that chocolate has been sitting on for about the last 11 days. There were a few that I just went and grabbed uh, were in my bathroom because I it's right outside. This is one that um, she's had for a little while. You might not be able to see through this. Some of the eggs are harder to see through. Oh, oh, that egg looks really full. So what that tells me is that we are getting close to hatch. Um, I would guess that this we're a few days away from hatch, so I might move her where the other hens and chickens can't get to her and the babies. This is a lot further along than what I had thought, actually. So here's another one that we initially marked. Okay, so this one looks pretty darn full. I had one of my kids start adding eggs, which made me not very happy because, again, we were adding eggs late in the in the incubation and it um, can be kind of dangerous. So here's the, but this egg looks very full. So I would say we are like a couple days away from hatch based off of what I'm seeing in these. Well, it's looking like chocolate is going to be a mommy here in just a few days. I need to find a place for her where she's not gonna be disturbed by any of the other hens um, and the babies will be safe. <sighs> that This is happening a lot faster than what I had thought. It looks like we have about seven or eight uh, chicks that we are expecting, so we'll see. <laughs> 